Greetings! Welcome to the 2023 Central Face Scholarship Telethon. I am Chris Bartley. And I am Tyler Eastwin, and we are gracious to be back as hosts for our second annual Scholarship Telethon. Now, Chris, you know that November 28th is marked as National Giving Day, right? Absolutely. We have given over $10,000 of both scholarship funds and book stipends for the past 20 years. Therefore, we want to continue to raise funds to support our high school graduates, current college students, and graduate students. And since it is National Giving Day, we are looking for all our Central Disciples, family, and friends to support this telethon. Our goal is to reach 3,000 for the 2023-2024 school year. And again, this is going towards both scholarship and book stipends. Now, we have a nice setup for you, as you will hear from our current recipients, past recipients, and from our senior pastor, Reverend Anthony L. Riley. But before we get started, let's review the purpose of our face history from our chair, Khadijah Tijan. Here's a little history about FACE. It stands for Financial Aid and Continuing Education, and it was originated by our very own Dr. Deacon Catherine Bailey. Here's a clip from our very own Deacon Dr. Catherine Bailey. I want to ask you, what inspired you to start this wonderful scholarship for the Faith uh, Ministry? A Reverend Scott established a program, a scholarship program. Uh, my area of expertise was scholarships and financial aid. The uh, continuing education ministry was established. There were Angelique Bay and Deacon Calvin Davis. So many students were graduating when we felt there was a need to give scholarships. Later, we added the scholarship award those who were in college. College students told me that he would only need $500 and the face ministry provided this, uh, the money. How is it like for Central Baptist Church to give back to the community and the youth? In light of giving my birthday gift to the scholarship fund, I would like to offer a gift to make my check out to Central Baptist Church Scholarship Fund. A scholarship receipt should be $5, then you put money in to do more. When you get money, you see what these young people thrive and survive and reach their full potential. Learn in the church. You can do something within the church. Let Ms. Marjorie Patton know and Reverend Tracy Watkins know. See you do the work. Get good grades. Get your teachers to see you do a great job. I urge you to volunteer in the community and let your light shine. Matthew 29, 26, but with God, everything is possible. Thank you, Khadijah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to introduce a few current and past scholarship recipients. Here live with us, we have Jordan Shaw, a current student at University of Missouri Columbia, majoring in a bachelor's degree in computer science. Kelsey Ginger, a graduate of University of Missouri St. Louis in 2022, with a degree in Bachelor of Science in Education, a major in elementary education with an emphasis in special education with a minor in child advocacy studies. Great to have you here. We are looking forward to getting to know you and to learn how Faith Scholarship has made a huge impact in your studies. From the virtual world, we have Peyton Franks, a student at Bradley University, majoring in mathematics. The church scholarship has provided me a lot of financial freedom and it has allowed me to pursue other things outside of academics. Um, like this past semester, I got to cross with Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated and that was a pretty big moment in my life. Um, but outside of that, um, I'm always maintaining good grades, A's and B's, and not having to worry about as much money um, to pay towards college because college is an expensive, an expensive investment. Um, the church has really helped with that. So I want to be able to help give back with that eventually, especially when I'm out of college in two years. Um, but 
it's allowed me to worry about less and just focus on school and God and growing closer to that. Again, this is the opportunity to ask a few questions of our recipients and to learn about how the Faith Scholarship has been impactful for them. Kelsey, what did you gain that was the most important from your scholarship experience? I gained a lot of financial assistance from my college experience. Wonderful. And while in college, what lessons have you learned, other than course content, uh, from being a student? I learned how to be a leader for my uh, peers. Oh, that's wonderful. It's really great. And Jordan, how would you give back to the community? There are a lot of ways to give back to the community when you're in college because there are a lot of volunteer opportunities. Um, one way that I was able to give back was to go to my nearby elementary school and teach kids how to use tech properly. Oh, well, that's wonderful. I mean, I know we're all using tech, but to use it <laughs> properly, that's important. <laughs> and while in college, how have you grown spiritually? I feel like I've grown spiritually in many ways. Um, I try my best to surround myself with peers who are also spiritual as well. Um, and I also make sure to do my prayers with my family as well when we all have time. That is really, really great and mm -hmm. very important. You have to make sure you stay grounded. Thank you participants for taking the time to chat with us and sharing with the disciples and the community about how Faith Scholarship has made a huge impact within your college studies. I agree, Tyler. Well, this concludes our annual telethon. Again, please take the time to donate via cbcsto.org, GiveLify, or YouTube Super Chat. Now, we will close the program out with our senior pastor, Reverend Anthony L. Riley. Hey, y'all, I am Pastor Riley. And what an amazing day it is. It's Giving Tuesday. We want to make sure that every student who wants to go to college can get there without cost being a barrier. According to the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics, the cost of higher education has increased by 4.7% 2020, 2022. Scholarships, we know grants, not loans, help to defray the cost for high tuition and reduce the pressure on our students to be able to access higher education and persist through college. So I need your help. To the generous giving at Central Baptist Church by investing in the future of our region and ensuring that talented men and women have the chance to reach their full potential, our scholarship program has touched the lives of thousands. These scholars become future leaders, professionals, and change makers who give back to our St. Louis community through their knowledge, their skills, their commitment, and their exposure to the world. They are making a positive difference today and will be tomorrow in changing our society. We are helping to make disciples and transforming lives, even through our scholarship program. Partner with us this Giving Tuesday as we solidify our commitment to youth and young adults with a donation. Some of you give consistently now, $5 per month to our scholarship fund. Others give in lump sum like me, $60 per year. Whatever category you find yourselves in today, catch up. Give an extra gift this Giving Tuesday. Let's fully fund our scholarship program so that every student will have their need met. And listen, I know that God will take our fish and loaves. God will take your fish and loaves. It'll take a scholarship grant and use it to multiply that investment to your dividends in the life we're building now for the kingdom of God. Join me today. Let's give.